protect your DNA. BioPQQ can promote formation of new mitochondria. InfoWarsStore.com <laughs> Well, with everyone getting back to school, you probably feel that exciting energy in the air. Ah, time to expand your cultural horizons, meet new people that you might not ever have been friends with. But no, in today's age, now it's all about compartmentalization, putting people in their special little groups, not allowing any sort of commingling with anyone that might trigger you or offend you. Ashley Beckford joins me now so we can talk a little bit about this. It's yes. not about equality anymore and everyone kind of joining together. It's all about superiority and the superiority of your special little victim class. That's exactly right, Leanne. What it's all about today is a culture of victimization. It's no longer, you know, we're all trying to understand each other and kind of get into our, um, you know, cohesive group. Like what brings us to this city if we're in a particular college or what, what have you, what brings us to, you know, this university. It's all about let's get into our culture of victimization. Let's see how many points we have on the victim scale and let's see, you know. Well, what... also it's racist and you yes. might trigger someone if you ask them exactly. where they're from because, you know, then you're insinuating that they're not from the United States. Right. That's racist. Yes, so y that's you part can't of even it. have conversations with people. Microaggressions are the big thing <laughs> that we're going to talk about today. Yeah. It's happening all over the country and really the world. Right. And so yeah. one of the big stories out right now is that uh, California State University in, in Los Angeles, they just rolled out segregated housing for black students. So this is an arrangement. It comes just about nine months after the university's black student union issued a set of demands in response to what its members contend are frequent racist attacks on campus, such as racially insensitive remarks and microaggressions by professors and students. And so now, rather than having students get to know each other, you know, get to commingle with people they might never have become friends with, exactly. never have struck up conversations with, they want to provide a safe space where they can connect and learn from each other. Which so is just it's ridiculous just, because it's like you have no sa safe space. In the real world, you actually have right. to be out there interacting <laughs> with people of all different types of, you know, ethnic backgrounds, all different types of socioeconomic backgrounds. And I don't agree with the sociology, uh, you know, the social, uh, the socialist ideology that says that basically everything is class struggle. Everything is oppression. So you need to see oppression in every single moment of your life. That's basically what it's about. Exactly. And this is not a historically black college. So why are you now segregating a university? It's if it's you want it to be segregated, time. go to a historically black college if that's the kind of experience that you seek. Right. But now because of these demands, they're completely rearranging the way that students are learning. And now rather than uh, with this freshman orientation, where they would normally talk that talk them through Ice tutorials on campus technology, <laughs> give them advice right. on how to choose classes. Now it's all about these identity politics and training them not to commit any offensive microaggressions. That's exactly right. Insults. They want to get them when they're really young. They want to get them when they first get in there. And instead of t teaching them about how to interact, uh, you know, cross culturally, which is typically what you would learn, they're actually teaching them how to segregate themselves into these little cliques. And it basically takes away from that whole idea of diversity. It's really the exact opposite. I am just so thankful that I graduated before I would have had to take this freshman orientation exactly, against right. uh, safe, spa safe spaces, trigger warnings. It's the whole new campus vocabulary on subtle microaggressions. Just about everything you do could be considered a subtle microaggression. So right. what is that? These are comments, snubs, or insults that communicate derogatory or negative messages. It might not be intended to cause harm, but they're targeted at people based on their membership in a right. marginalized group. Just simple things uh, they talk about actually here. They keep creating new terms to uh, describe the oppression that uh, they're going through. And one of them is environmental microaggressions, environmental microaggressions. You <laughs> enter the chemistry building. They're taking it into the STEM courses now, too. And you see all the pictures are of males. So if you're a female like me or Leanne, you're going to feel that you're not welcome. You're not represented. That's ridiculous. It just so happens that a lot of the scientific, you know, developments have been created through white males. Uh, and then and then you have micro invalidation. They're saying that uh, 
just merely suggesting that your race or your ethnic background actually uh, did not play that great of a role in uh, planning out your life, that's a micro invalidation. That's saying, you know, you're not able to. Uh, Everyone can succeed in this society your if they work hard enough. <laughs> that's racist. That's racist, exactly. Well, that's a microaggression. And here we're actually starting to see some of these. Um, seeing this sort of playing out, people are actually losing their jobs wow. if they commit these microaggressions or they don't issue a trigger warning before they post on a Facebook page. So here there was a 16 year special education teacher in St. Paul, Minnesota, Awful. Theo Olson. Um, he officially retired after coming to an agreement with the he district. He was forced out, yeah. Yeah, exactly. He was forced out because he noted on a local Black Lives Matter organizer's uh, Facebook page that among other things, students won't quit gaming, setting up fights, and selling drugs. So because he says this and he's like, hey guys, you know, let's try to clean up what's actually the problem here, exactly. what's going on. They dubbed One him a white schools. supremacist teacher. And there's no coming back from that. And they that. forced him to go through uh, sensitivity training. They forced him to go through equity training, they right. call it. Everything's equal. Everything's loving, you know, like Harrison Bergeron or, you know, <laughs> the island. Well, and God forbid <laughs> the school district tries to actually do something about <clears throat> what this teacher is complaining about. The fights, mm -hmm. the gaming, the selling drugs, which, right. I mean, I know growing up, I oh, saw yeah. that kind of going on in my school. So I can't even imagine how it is now. And exactly. if you even dare say anything about that, I mean, you're trying to create a safe environment for the other students that are there wanting to learn. Exactly. It's, but it's you're very racist. it's it's almost impossible to be a teacher nowadays. There's so many people, great teachers quitting the profession because of what's going on in the schools right now. Mm -hmm. And so. now we've actually seen I know David Knight spoke a little mm -hmm. bit more on this about where this is really coming from. Right. Uh, but, you know, we see the government spending five hundred thousand dollars fighting online trolls. The nanny state. Well, and the issue here is like people, they get online. They're so oppressed here in their speech, in the universities and mm -hmm. school and in their daily lives that they get online and they have this sort of sense of anonymity. Exactly. So that they're going to say whatever they might they might never say to your face, but they're, they're going to say take, it online. They're going to take that away even from people. They're going right. to take that away where you can't even, you know, uh, communicate because they're going to have the Internet ideas. We know October 1st, ICANN is being transferred to the U.N. here. Right. So, uh, yeah, it's only going to get worse from here on out. With that. <laughs> and, that's, and that's kind <laughs> of the thing is they're indoctrinating the students while they've got them right. there in the schools because this is the new the new reality that people are going to be living in. And you can see it here unfolding with this election, this mm -hmm. current election season. It's all about identity politics yeah. when it's like it doesn't matter what special group you belong to when we're all getting screwed, when exactly. everyone's out of a job. It doesn't matter who you are, how victimized you are all getting victimized now and, and they don't want us to being realize censored that unless you agree with the progressive politics if you don't agree with the progressive politics then you're definitely getting censored you're definitely your speech means nothing basically right and just to just to kind of close this up with mm -hmm. you know how these groups are working to become some of the most hated groups out there uh, black lives matter activists actually shut down the london city airport uh, flights were de dis delayed nine protesters locked themselves together right there on the runway, posted pictures of it. Seven people have been arrested so far. But get this. This is a terrorist they did organization. This. <laughs> they this did this because they say the climate crisis is a racist crisis. Cut emissions. So this is what this group, you know, you can't be all things to all people. And right. now this is what happens when you take that money from George Soros. Now you've got to fight the fight of climate change and and, you know, this and that, it's like you can't be all things to all people. <laughs> but, you know, you're going to lock lock arms there on the runway, shut down the flights for climate change because Black Lives Matter. I don't I'm I, I don't agree with it. I think it's terrorism. <laughs>
puts it into something oh. that's great tasting as mm. opposed to like clumpy, gross stuff. And you can put it in your drink every morning. I put it in my protein shake. It is the platinum standard, in my view, of multivitamins in terms of an advanced multi-drink vitamin. The cleanest, the purest, new stuff had to be invented. That's why it took this long to even bring us something this good. Some companies are going to take a small amount of vitamins and make it, you know, so there's so much filler, it looks like there's a lot. This is ultra concentrated. We're not playing games here. Okay, this Well, that's my problem. philosophy. That's your philosophy. Yeah. This I want to, but again, there's some great stuff out there. Yeah. And there's other, you know. No, of course. Definitely. There's other powders I promote at InfoWarsHealth.com. Yeah, They're excellent. I mean, there's some good stuff out there. This is just the very best we can bring you. And when you buy it, you support InfoWars. You support the reporters. You support yourself. Tell folks about some of these uh, other things that are in this uh, and why this is just this total complete package uh, for your body. Because, uh, again, we didn't put the synthetic amino acids. We didn't put the synthetic vitamins. We didn't. We put the plant-based, high-quality, clean, natural uh, ingredients into this. Yeah, exactly. So you've got your standard vitamins, vitamin C, vitamin E, the list goes on. A huge amount of vitamin C, by the way. Tell folks yeah, about that. Yeah, a thousand plus percent of your daily value, which is what you need. Because the, you know, FDA guidelines, we all know about those. Zinc, magnesium, selenium, L-glutamine. Each one of these you could go on for about 10 minutes about the benefits of these things. Alpha lipoic acid, folic acid, calcium, and the list goes on. 34 other ones you can check out. Go to InfoWarsLife.com, the label's up there. You've got the entire ingredients list that you can neurotically examine for yourself. And just... By the way, look on the other side, too, because uh, we're showing people the... Uh minerals and things. Let's look at the vitamins right there. All it's got in there. I mean, it's amazing. It's top left. Again, if you're radio listeners, infowars.com forward slash show. Vitamin A has 4,333% uh, from beta carotene and what's the other source? I just know that's all the best sources. Retinol. So you've also got your vitamin D at 1,000 IU, which is a large dose actually. And you know what? Some people could say, well, isn't this competing with your other products? Well, yeah, you know what? We could be like some people and just take all the stuff that we sell also at InfoWarsLife.com and not put any of it, but then it wouldn't be a balanced formula and we're not going to do that. And it might actually hurt us in the long run to put all the best stuff in here, but that's just the way we got to do it because we can't start thinking like that. So get them today, InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139.